when you were writing this book, did you even think to the future that it would become a film? You know, I didn't. It's actually, some of my other books had been optioned, but when I wrote this one, I was actually pretty sure that no one was going to make a movie <laughs> after this. You think just the family dynamic, no one's going to connect you know, with it's, it? it's it's very character driven. There isn't a ton of plot and it's very episodic. I just thought this, you know, nobody wants to make a movie about a bunch of Jews sitting around. <laughs> beating each other up. Yeah, yeah, well, it's Hollywood. Everyone wants that story, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, so, in the book, you actually mention, reference Jane Fonda's workout videos, and then she got cast in the movie. How did that come about? Yeah, that's total accident. <laughs> you know, I forgot Jane was in the book, and then one day on set, someone pointed it out to me, and she knew it, but I had forgotten. <laughs> you know, I'd written the book five years earlier. Yeah. So, at least you know she read the book. Yeah, it was very meta to have her in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. So, if you were had the option of being stuck in a house for seven days with anyone in the world living or dying, who would it be? Anyone in the world living or dying. Say that again. If you could, if you were stuck in a house with anyone, you got to choose who you're stuck in a house with for seven days, who would it be? It would be my girlfriend. I think you have okay. to say that, don't you? I mean, be my right, besides your girlfriend, living or dead, if you wanted to talk to a dead, an author, an author that you idolize. Yeah, I think we're all pretty boring for seven days. Maybe my grandmother. I always liked hanging out with my grandmother. That would be it, probably. That would be it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Have so much fun inside. Thank you very much. Thank you.